Hey guys, this is my first video on which I'm going to review a skull for everyone here on the internet and for YouTube. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do was review items that are hard to find uh, on YouTube itself. I've researched and looked uh, many, many hours to find a review on specifically a T-Rex skull, um, dire wolf skull, and so on and so forth. And it's just, I find it very difficult to find them. So I've had to take the chance and just order the items myself without the review. Um, but what I'd like to do now is just kind of review the skulls. That way people out there in the world, on the internet, can uh, kind of decide for themselves and see what actually they're getting into before they purchase said item. Um, but with that being said, hopefully this is the first video of many to come of some cool objects, hard to find objects, scientific objects, things that just uh, not your typical person are into. So to start off with you guys, this is the 1-6 scale T-Rex of Stan. For those of you who don't know who Stan is, he is the most complete male T-Rex ever discovered. Comes from the Black Hills Institute. Uh, they are the ones behind uh, the movie Dinosaur 13, which talks about uh, another T-Rex skeleton, uh, Sue in particular. So if you haven't seen that, you, you guys watch that documentary. It's a very good documentary. Specifically, if you're into pale paleontology, dinosaurs or any sort of uh, ex extinct animals, I'd highly recommend it. That being said, I got this skull directly from the Black Hills Institute. It's made by Bone Clones um, on the internet as well. So just let me read their little, their little uh, description here before I show the skull around. Okay guys, so this is a stand prototype skull. It's a 1-6 scale stand skull. It's an actual prototype replica. This is not a model, you guys, okay? This isn't something that an artist designed uh, some sort of cheap um, look-alike on the internet that you could find. Please be aware of those. You'll find those on the internet, on eBay. A lot of artists, you know, put a lot of work into them. Don't get me wrong, they look great, but they're not exact copies or replicas of a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. If you want authenticity, go with the Black Hills Institute, Skulls Unlimited, or Bone Clones. Okay, so with, being that, with that being said, there's 39 individual elements plus the brain case that were CT scanned to create this reproduction of the most complete and undistorted T-Rex skull ever found. The digital data was then transferred to a 3D prototype machine that created a precise 1 6th scale. The rapid prototype bones were then molded and assembled, preserving the details of the original skull. Guys, this skull is awesome. I have it for a week or so. I got it for Christmas. It's an amazing, amazing skull, uh, and I'll go into depth a little bit. Uh, I didn't do an unboxing. I know a lot of people like that. Um, I'm not really a big fan of it, but if you want to know what it came in, I'll be glad to show you guys. So it came in, for those of you who have ordered from Bone Clones before, Bone Clones before, excuse me, it comes in this white box here. Again, I got this directly from the Black Hills Institute. I went to Bone Clones, talked to the a salesperson there, they told me it was gonna take two weeks to produce this skull. Uh, I'm very impatient, so I didn't wanna wait that. So I called the Black Hills Institute and they happened to have one in stock. So it came in this black, or just excuse me, a white box, Bone Clones 1 6 scale T-Rex fossil articulated. Number is CN-02-A. Um, as you can see the size of the box it came in. However, this came in side of another box, a larger brown box that had more padding with a bunch of orange stickers that said this side up, fragile, handle with care. So they packaged it very, very well. As you can see inside, there was also the bubble wrap and just your plain packing peanuts. Nothing special, nothing else came in here. Uh, I will show you a little tag that did come. This tag itself right here came attached to the skull. As you guys can see here, I'll let you read that. I won't bore you with my voice. Tells you exactly about this skull. Okay, put this off to the side. All right, so let's talk about the skull, guys. It is amazing, first and foremost. Honestly, having not seen the original, uh, I can simply base this off of images that I've seen on the internet and various websites, and it is no joke amazing so let's get close up okay guys so as you can see so it comes in three pieces it comes in so let me take this off for you we have the skull itself 
comes in this custom little stand. Stand you, you can see here, guys. Just your standard standard steel base with a little steel rod and a custom molded. As you can see, it's shaped kind of funky. You can see the CN-02 here, so it's specifically for the T-Rex skull. That's not much to it, guys. Like I said, it came it came separate. As you can see here, it comes apart. Place it right back in. That's all there is to it. So the stand itself is nothing very, it's not really exciting, but as you can see, it does the job. So let's go over the skull itself, okay guys? So here as you can see, the skull. Look at the details of this guy. You can see how his face is kind of not perfect, but it is perfect when it comes down to fossils. Okay, one side looks longer than the other, but that is due to the way the fossil was preserved in the ground and the way the reproduction is obviously exactly like the skull. As you guys can see here, the, the small details in the skull, you can see all the individual pieces right here, all the separate pieces that it takes. And from what my understanding is, the T-Rex had a skull kind of like reptiles where they're in different pieces designed to be flexible and move with joints and muscles and other uh, soft tissues. So when it opened its mouth and it actually put all that force and pressure, it didn't snap its skull or break its teeth simply by all the pressure. The, the movement of the skull pieces was able to absorb or distribute that pressure evenly preventing damage to the animal itself. You can see, let's show the top of this guys. You can see all the small details here. So let's get them closer so you guys can see here. So the individual teeth here, as you can see, are all sitting in right into the maxilla. Excuse me, the mandible is the bottom. The maxilla is the top. The back, where it connects to the spine. You can see all the separate individual pieces that make this skull. As you can see, let's look at it from this view. It's simply amazing, guys. I have, again, as you can see here. So what we're dealing with here, guys, for those of you who don't know the anatomy of a T-Rex or wondering what all these holes are, I'm going to tell you. So here, in this area right here, is your ten uh, temporal fenestra and also where the jaw muscles attach to. Back here, if I'm correctly, this is where the ear would sit. Here is the actual orbit, the eye orbit. The eye would sit right here, as you can see, with more muscles attached here. If you look at it directly head on, you can see the eyes would be right here, guys. For 3D perfect vision. Okay, this next one right here is the uh, anor antorbital. Fenestra, basically your sinuses, the air sacs, where all that would fit, and also some more jaw muscles as well. Here, you would have your promaxillary fenestra, or your sinuses or more air sacs. And here again would be your nares or nostrils. I believe the nostril is the actual fleshy skin part, and the, the hole itself is your nare. But obviously, as you can see, its sense of smell was probably second to none. Um, with that being said, Let's uh, turn it around. As you can see the minor differences to the other side. Okay, and you can see all these tiny little, excuse me, let me get closer. The tiny little dots right there underneath the, uh, the jawbone right there, they're called foramina. If I'm correct, that has to do with the, the lips and all the sensories and the nerve endings there. That where that connects to there. I'm not sure exactly what these two holes represent in the top of the head. I'm um, assuming that's where the brain may have sat, but uh, again, I'm no paleontologist, simply just reviewing from my point of view. This thing is amazing, you guys. Uh, check, I mean, check this out, look at the teeth. This is museum quality. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's approximately 10 inches in length. It's just, it's a beautiful masterpiece. I mean, look at that.
that out. The only thing that guys that I would would say is I wouldn't say it's a negative, but if you don't have the cash, this thing is pricey. It's eight hundred and seventy dollars. Uh, with shipping, it's close to nine hundred dollars. So you truly have to want an authentic T Rex skull. Um, obviously, the Black Hills Institute sells full scale models. The full scale T Rex is like a hundred thousand uh, dollars. I'm not. I don't know about you. I don't have that money. Um, also, a full size skull itself. I believe it's ten thousand. 15,000 with part of its uh, cervical spine connected to it. But for the price, and if you truly are dedicated to unique items, want something to you know talk about for to show off to guests and to your fellow nerds, uh, this is definitely worth the investment. It is just amazing. It's super light. However, it's, it's great construction. It's made out of solid resin. So it's not gonna break. It does not feel cheap. Again, uh, like I said earlier in the video, don't be fooled. You can go on eBay, you can go online and find some T-Rex skulls that look like this, but they're not exact copies. They're not the exact replica of the Stan skull or any other um, T-Rex. They're simply an artist's rendition. Uh, they have some for cheaper price. There's one for 400 bucks on eBay that's you know a lot bigger. However, it's made in China. And uh, again, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like having stuff shipped over from China. Again, it's got the different holes from research that I've seen, or stuff that I've read, supposedly bite marks from other T-Rexes, uh, but I can't, I can't confirm that. So again, I'm just gonna show you how this attaches in. Simply sits right in side there. Nice and perfect. You guys can see that now. I'm gonna scoot this back. Scoot this back further, excuse me. As you can see the T-Rex skull sits great and amazing. It looks amazing. Obviously form it the way you want. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say, and I wouldn't say it's a negative, but based on the size of the skull, again, it's one sixth scale. So every tiny little detail is hard to, to put into this thing. So for those of you who know about the T-Rex, his teeth had tiny little serrations, kind of like a steak knife. So I've, I've really, really looked in depth with this and I can't find those serrations. So that's the only thing that I would say it's lacking. Um, specific, uh, basically, I have here, this also comes from the Black Hills Institute. I will do another review on this. But this is a full-size one-to-one replica of Stan's tooth. Um, and this one does have the serrations, as you can see there. This also is an amazing, this is museum quality research replica. This guy, this bad boy was about a hundred bucks, well worth a hundred dollars. I'll review that another time so I can show you the, the really cool base that it came on and everything like that. Um, but hopefully this was informative. Uh, those of you that are sitting on the fence or trying to find a T-Rex skull, please go to Bone Clones. Um, or the Black Hills Institute for this Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. Um, if you go to Skulls Unlimited, they will not have this T-Rex skull, but however, they do have a bunch of other really cool items. Uh, again, this is the first of uh, hopefully a series of videos I will we'll be doing. Uh, dire Wolf skull, Jaguar claws, uh, Piranha jaw, bunch of primarily predatory predator animals. Uh, and if you like it, please hit the like button uh, and let me know your thoughts, anything I can improve on. Again, this is the first one, so feel free to uh, come at me. Thanks, guys.